Hello everyone, my name is Ali Akbar and it is my pleasure to welcome you to this education session on the fundamental principle of clutch mechanisms. I am delighted to inform you that this video has been graciously sponsored by the Scholars Club. But we will dwell deeper into that shortly. Without further ado, let us commence our lecture. I am excited to dive into the basics of clutch with you all today. I know this may not be the most thrilling topic, but believe me, it's an essential component of any vehicle, and understanding it can help you become a better engineer. Throughout this lecture, I will cover what exactly is a clutch, the different function of the clutch, its main parts, and the various types of clutch out there. I will even show you some cool videos to help visualize how it all works. And don't worry if you are not a car enthusiast. I will break it all down in simple terms so that anyone can understand. By the end of this lecture, you will have a solid grasp on the fundamentals of a clutch and why it's so crucial for any vehicle. So let's get started with the first topic, that is what is clutch? A clutch is a vital component that enables the engine to connect or disconnect from the rest of the transmission element. Take a look at this figure. You can see that the clutch is situated between the engine and the gearbox. It remains engaged during run normal running and stationary positions. But, the but when the driver operates the clutch pedal, as we can see in this video, the clutch plate is forced away from the flywheel. This mechanism helps the engine with starting, gear changing, stopping and idling. But how does it all work you ask? Check out this video to get a better idea of the clutch mechanism. When the clutch is engaged, the engine is connected to the transmission and the power is transmitted through the transmission system to the rear wheel. But when the clutch is disengaged by pressing the pedal, the engine disconnects from the transmission, preventing power from flowing to the rear wheel while the engine is still running. Now, let's dive in and explore more about the functions, parts and types of clutch. First and foremost, let's highlight the primary functions of a clutch. These functions play a crucial role in ensuring the smooth operations and efficiency of the vehicle. First, the clutch allows us to engage or disengage gears when the vehicle is stationary and the engine is running. Think about those movements when you are at a red light on the traffic jam and you need to shift gear without turning off the engine. Second. It serves as a bridge between the engine and the road wheels, transmitting engine power smoothly to set the vehicle in motion. The clutch ensures a seamless transfer of power, eliminating any jerks or disruption in the transmission system. Starting the vehicle from rest requires engaging the first and second gear. The clutch enables us to smoothly disconnect the power from the gearbox allowing for easy gear shifting and preventing any noise or damage to the gear. In emergencies, such as when we need to stop the vehicle abruptly after applying the brakes, the clutch swiftly disconnects the engine power from the transmission system. This feature ensures the safety and control of the vehicle during critical situations. And gradual power transmission is another vital function of the clutch. It allows the engine to take up the load gradually, avoiding any sudden jerk or shock that could affect the vehicle's stability and passenger's comfort. Now, before we dive deeper into our lesson, I want to give a shout out to our incredible sponsor, the Scholars Club. They have been a driving force behind this educational lecture and they have got something amazing to offer you. Are you struggling with your studies? need help with assignment, doubt or any or even career guidance, look no further. The Scholars Club is your ultimate destination for all your educational needs. From personalized tutoring to a wide range of courses, they've got you covered. And the best part, it's all just a click away. Visit thescholarsclub.com or simply download their user-friendly app from the Play Store or Apple Store. The link is right there in the description below, if anybody wants to check it out. Now, coming back to our lecture, let's explore the key component that makes up a clutch system. Understanding these parts is crucial to gaining a comprehensive grasp on how clutches function. The clutch 
comprises of three key elements a driving member a driven member and an operating member allow me to break down each of these components for you firstly we have the driving member this component consists of a flywheel which is securely mounted on the engine's crankshaft the flywheel is fastened to a cover that houses essential parts such as a pressure plate pressure springs and release levers it's important to note that the flywheel and the cover assembly rotate together as a unified unit as we can see in this animated video where the flywheel which is essentially mounted on the engine's crankshaft also rotates together as a unified unit to ensure efficient operations opening are strategically placed in the clutch housing and cover allowing the dissipation of heat generated during its functioning now moving on to the driven member we encounter a crucial piece known as the clutch plate or clutch disc this disc or plate is designed to freely slide on the splines of the clutch shaft as we can see in this figure the clutch plate is equipped with friction materials on both of its surface enabling it to establish a firm grip when the clutch plate is gripped between the flywheel and the pressure plate it initiates the rotation of the clutch shaft through the engagement of the splines this mechanism facilitates the transfer of power from the engine to the transmission system now lastly we have the operating member the operating member enables us to control the clutch engagement and disengagement this member typically takes the form of a pedal or lever that can be pressed by the driver by applying pressure on the operating member we can disengage the driving and driven plates effectively interrupting the power transmission between the engine and the transmission system as we can see in this figure when the lever is pressed with our foot a remarkable chain of event is set into motion the force exerted on the lever causes the le release lever to swing into action pushing the pressure plate away from the clutch plate this seemingly simple movement holds tremendous significance now picture this the pressure plate which was previously gripping the clutch plate with considerable force is now released as the result the only tightly connected engine and transmission system are momentarily disconnected this clever disengagement of the clutch allows for seamless gear shifting smooth vehicle deceleration and even the ability to bring the vehicle to a complete stop without stalling the engine understanding the role and intersection of this components is essential to comprehending the intricate working of a clutch system now it's time to explore the different type of the clutch that exists clutches come in various forms each designed to serve specific purposes and cater to different requirements so let's embark on this journey to of discovery together one type of clutch is the positive clutch also known as a dog or spline clutch this clutch operates without any slip meaning it can instantly engage or disengage the power transmission think of it as an in and out type of clutch providing a swift connection between gears however it may not be suitable in situations where gradual engagement or disengagement is required without interrupting the power drive you will commonly find this type of clutch in gear boxes where it efficiently connects gear on the same shaft on the other hand we have the gradual engagement clutch this type of clutch allows for a smooth and gradual connection or disconnection between the power source and the driving component it operates with a control slip enabling one shaft to rotate at a higher sp speed while the other remains stationary or rotate at a lower speed The gradual engagement clutch can be further classified into two main categories the friction clutch and the fluid clutch Let's start with the friction clutch As the name suggests the transmission of power in this clutch occurs through rotating friction members typically discs When the driving and driven member come into contact a friction force begin acting between them causing the drive causing the driven member to move along with the driving member initially the force pressing the two member together is small 
and a friction force may not be sufficient to drive the driven member at the same speed as the dri driving member. However, as the pressing force increases, the friction force overcomes the resistance and the driven member gradually starts rotating at the same speed as the driving member. Once fully engaged, there is no slip between the two members and they rotate together harmoniously. Now, moving on to the fluid clutch. We encounter a more advanced system of power transmission. Here, the power flows through a fluid or liquid medium. This type of clutch provides a seamless and jerk-free engagement of gas while also dampening any potential soak that may occur when connecting a revolving crankshaft to the transmission. It offers a refined and efficient power transmission from the engine crankshaft to the transmission system, ensuring a smoother overall driving experience. Now, moving on, let's focus on the different type of friction clutches. Let's begin with the first type, the disc clutch. This type of clutch can be further divided into two subcategories, the single plate clutch and the multi plate clutch. The single plate clutch, as the name suggests, consists of a single plate, single clutch plate sandwiched between the flywheel and the pressure plate. An example is shown here, where the clutch plate has a friction material on both sides that helps in transmitting the torque from the engine to the transmission. While it offers simplicity and cost effectiveness, it has its limitations in terms of torque handling and durability. On the other hand, the multi-plate clutch comprises multi multiple clutch plates stacked together. As we can see in this illustration, this design allows for higher torque capacity, improved power transmission efficiency and enhanced durability. It finds its application in high performance vehicles like racing car and heavy duty machines. There are different types of multi-plate clutches including wet and dry clutches. In a wet clutch, the clutch plates are bared in oil, which helps to reduce friction and dissipate heat. In a dry clutch, the clutch plates are not immersed in oil, which makes them more prone to wear and tear. The only drawback of multi-plate clutch is that it has more complex mechanism than the single plate clutch, but it is also more efficient, durable and can handle higher amount of torque. Now moving on. Let's explore the corn clutch. This type features two conical surfaces facing each other, with one connected to the engine and the other to the transmission. The precision fit between the cones enables efficient power transmission, high torque handling and durability. The drawback of clone clutch is that it has more complex mechanism than single and multi plate clutch. There are single cone and double cone variations, with the latter offering increased surface area for torque transmission. Next, we have the diaphragm clutch. The diaphragm clutch consists of a pressure plate, a clutch disc, and the diaphragm spring. The pressure plate is a circular plate that is bolted to the flywheel of the engine. Whereas the, di the clutch disc is, a is sandwiched between the pressure plate and the flywheel. The diaphragm spring is a large flat spring that is attached to a pressure plate. This design offers several advantages including high clamping force with minimal spring travel, smooth engagement and disengagement, and self-adjusting capabilities. The diaphragm clutch is known for its reliability, low maintenance requirements, and ease of operation. There are mainly two types of diaphragm clutch, push type diaphragm clutch and pull type diaphragm clutch. The main difference between the two types of diaphragm clutch is the direction of force applied to the diaphragm spring. In the push type, the force is applied from the outside of the spring, while in the pull type, di pull type diaphragm clutch, the force is applied from the inside of the spring. Now next, we have centrifugal and semi-centrifugal clutch. Let's discuss the centrifugal clutch first. 
it utilizes centrifugal force to engage and disengage power transmission commonly found in small engines such as go kart and mini bikes this type of this type features a clutch drum and clutch shoe the clutch drum is attached to the engine output shaft and clutch shoe are attached to the transmission input shaft as the engine speed increases the centrifugal force causes the spokes, causes the shoe to make contact with the drum enabling power transmission centrifugal clutch are simple and reliable and they require no external control mechanism such as clutch pedal or lever they are designed to engage at a specific engine speed and are typically not adjustable they are also limited in their abilities to handle high torque loads which make them unsuitable for use in large engines or vehicles that require high torque output lastly we have the semi centrifugal clutch which combines centrifugal force and spring pressure for power transmission similar to the centrifugal clutch it utilizes a clutch drum and clutch shoe the addition of spring pressure ensures smooth engagement and disengagement while it offers simplicity and reliability and they require no external control mechanism such as a clutch pedal or lever it also has limitations in high torque applications which makes them unsuitable for use in large engines or vehicles that require high torque output now that we have clear understanding of clutch functions let's explore the key requirements for an efficient clutch system this requirement contributes to the overall power overall performance and longevity of the clutch a good clutch should enable smooth and gradual engagement to ensure a seamless transmission between gears the clutch must efficient effectively transmit the engine torque to the transmission system without any power loss power management of inertia and mass within the clutch system is crucial for efficient operation and response the clutch should be designed for easy for ease and effortless operation ensuring a comfortable driving experience for the user effective heat dissipation is essential to prevent overheating and maintain optimal clutch performance The choice of high quality friction facing material is vital for reliable and durable clutch engagement. The clutch should have mechanism in place to dampen vibration and reduce any unwanted noise or discomfort. Next is proper dynamic balancing minimizes vibrations and ensure smooth operations enhancing overall performance. The clutch size should be suitable for the vehicle's power and torque requirement providing optimal performance and durability a well adjusted clutch should have the appropriate free pedal play to ensure precise control and prevent unnecessary clutch wear by fulfilling this requirement a well designed clutch system can enhance the overall driving experience and contribute to the vehicle performance and efficiency in conclusion Clutches come in various types of to cater to different needs and applications. From the simplicity of the disc clutch to the efficiency of the cone clutch, the reliability of a diaphragm clutch and the unique operating principle of centrifugal and semi-centrifugal clutches, each type has its advantages and its limitations. Understanding the different type of clutches is essential for automotive enthusiasts and engineer alike. as it allows us to appreciate the intricacies of power transmission and the engineering behind efficient gear shifting whether you are a drive you are whether you are driving a car or exploring the world of mechanical engineering clutches of clutches play a vital role in the seamless operating operation of our machines thank you for joining me today as we delve into the captivating world of clutches i hope this knowledge keeps you engaged and spark your curiosity to explore further I encourage you to pause for a moment and grab your notebooks or any writing material you have on hand. This will allow you to jot down the key points we have covered so far, ensuring that you have a concise summary of a valuable knowledge we have gained. Taking note is an excellent way to reinforce your learning and capture the essential details that will serve as a valuable resource in the future. So let's take this opportunity to pause for a moment. gather your materials and write down the key concepts types of clutches and their unique characteristic the that we have discussed thus far stay curious 
stay engaged and keep embracing the wonders of engineering thank you in our next lecture we will delve deep into the inner workings of gearbox and explore how they play a vital role in the transmission system of vehicle gearboxes are like the command center of a vehicle responsible for efficiently transferring power from the engine to the wheels understanding their operation is crucial for anyone passionate about automobile and engineering to ensure you don't miss out of this insightful lecture and other upcoming contents i encourage you to stay connected with us hit that subscribe button below to join our growing community and receive all the latest updates from our channel by subscribing you will gain access to the wealth of knowledge practical insights and engage in discussion that will discuss that will enhance your understanding understanding of automotive technology we are committed to delivering high quality educational content that will keep you informed and inspired so don't wait any longer hit that subscribe button below and embark on a learning journey that will fuel your curiosity and passion for engineering get ready to unlock the secrets of gearbox and revolutionize your understanding of automotive systems stay connected stay informed and together let's explore the exciting world of gearboxes and beyond thanks